Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I am making a spread using the new stickers from LTL Print House. We have some cute little Mickey pumpkins. So I'm going to go over the new release and what stickers are going to be available to purchase. And then I'm just going to do my monthly plan with me because I haven't done that yet. And I thought these would be cute to use on these pages. So First up, we have this first sheet with, again, with all the little Mickey pumpkins in different colors. Hey, pumpkin. Oh, this little frame with the little Mickey ghost. Cute Mickey bats. Spooky season, spooky vibes. Okay, more of the Mickey ghost. I love the little frames in here with the um, little boo in it. The sorcerer's hat with Mickey's ears. Trick or trick and treat let's go ghouls more of the frames love that Ooh, that one's really pretty and then some boxes and then we have some washi so pumpkins trick and treat and then little strips of washi i love the little checkerboard one and then the frames really nice okay so i'm excited to use these again they're available now to purchase if you are interested ltl print houses etsy shop will be linked down in the description but yeah if you like mickey you want the cute little halloween theme um for your planner these are really really adorable so now i'm gonna get started with the plan with me okay so i think definitely for sure gonna put this framed one on the side because I always like to have some kind of like sidebar kind of sticker over here. Okay, that looks cool. And then I do have some things I want to note for the week. Hold on, I have to get my sticky notes. Where did I put them? I know I put them somewhere. Okay. Oh, here they are. <laughs> I just stuck them all right here on this sheet of paper. Okay, so I have some things I need to note. So I think I'm gonna use these frame one for like the important ones. So I have my nephew's birthday on the 15th. So I'm gonna put this pink one here. I also have something else on the 15th, but I could write it above it. Um, and then, okay, so that's like the most important thing. Oh, also, it's my grandma's birthday here. She passed recently, but I wanted to note that. It's her birthday. So I'll put that over here. Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, so that's her birthday. I also do have work this day, so... That's two things I need to mark for these. Both have two things I need to mark. Um, I have some like planner Patreon stuff that I'm doing. So I'm gonna take these little boxes and put them over here. I have one on the 9th, the 16th, the 23rd and the 30th. Okay, so those are all those. And then, oh, the 31st is Halloween. Um, You know what? I think I might switch up what I used over here. So I'm going to put this one down here. These are super easy to move, just in case you didn't know. Um, and then I'm going to take this like frame one, because I really want to incorporate these fun frame ones. And I'll put this one here. Or I could put it this way. Actually, this way is cooler. The way it's meant to put. This is how it's supposed to be. Just trying to get straight. Somewhat straight. No, that's not straight. <laughs> A little bit lower. Okay. It's straight-ish. And then I'm going to put 
do the same thing for here. Um, I'm going to put this box here because I feel like I might be going to Disney. Wait, what day am I going to Disney? I'm going to put it here. No, here. I don't know. I have like these three days reserved. I just don't know yet what day I'm going to Disney. Um, I just wanted to reserve like all the Saturdays just in case they got blocked out on me. Okay, I'm going to put this one for my nephew's birthday. Okay, cool. So I got all of, for the most part, I got all of the stickers for the important things. I have like notes for reservations on these days, but I don't know yet when I'm going. I feel like if I do go to Disney, because I like to go at least twice a month, I want to go like split it up between the weeks. So 12th and the 26th would be the most, like the ones that make the most sense to me. So I think 12th is one a good one to put there. And then Maybe the 26th, just so that way I'm not going back to back. Because I did that recently and it's exhausting. And I'm tired. So, so I can't be doing that all the time. Now I get to add in cute little decor. So, okay. Let's go with the little stars. I'm just going to kind of put these around the spread a little bit. Oops. So there's. Okay, so we got little stars, and then I really like the little Mickey bats. Really cute. So let's put that one. I kind of want to put it here, but I'll need to move these boxes. <laughs> I should have put washi down first. That's okay. Okay, I'm going to put this on top. Oh, it doesn't go all the way across. Okay, that's okay. I'll, fig I'll kind of fix it on the end. And then I'll put this above. I can put some little, like, glittery pieces just to fill in that gap. Or oh, the little stars. The little stars. All right, that works. And then... Are you looking all spooky cute? Okay, for sure I want to get a, a pumpkin. Mickey pumpkin. So, actually, I'm going to put this. This thing is huge, but I kind of want to put it here. I'll have to cut it off a little, but I feel like it should go here. I'll wait on cutting it off because I'm not sure, but I think I am. Let me cover up the holidays because I don't... Let's cover these up. Okay. And then let's put a pumpkin over here. Oh, it's two pumpkins. So, do I want two pumpkins on this side? I kind of just want one. So, I'm just going to cut this. Very carefully. Okay. Just so I can have one little pumpkin over here. Next to his birthday. Oh, that's the mint. Is that the mini pumpkin? She's, it's got eyelashes, so I'm assuming it is. Cute. Okay, for sure, bats. Bats will be going on the page. Flying around. Get these bigger ones. Let's put one here. Kind of sprinkle those around. And then I have a hay pumpkin. This right here. Let's see what it does. Oops. Carefully you don't rip it because I kind of ripped it. We'll do a hay pumpkin. And then some of these little sparkly bits, little stars. <laughs> do some stars here. Oh, there's a little moon. Let's do a moon. Okay, kind of dress up that. Make that this little box more special because that's my nephew's birthday. I'm also doing something that day, so yeah, it's a fun-filled day. 
I'm going to do this boo over here. I have this empty space here. And then I want to put a ghost over here. So let's put this blue one. I have so much pink. I need this like bluish gray color on the spread. So there's the little ghosty there. Oh, definitely want to put this little hat in a box. Let's put this one here. That's super cute. Okay, more bats. One more bat, so I'm gonna stick that down too. I want to use all the little bats because they're cute. Let's see, I could put it here. Okay, that's cool. And then a little quote for this side I think it should be spooky, spooky vibes, spooky season. Let's try spooky season. I need some like bluish colors here, so I'm gonna do some of these little sparkly bits. Stars. <laughs> I'm calling them sparkly bits. They're stars. I'll do some more stars over here. Okay, just sprinkle those around. I'll get some more of these over here. Just kind of dress it up with that. Um Oh, I have another little hat. Cute. Do I want another little hat? Because I don't want to put it on this side. It would have to go on this side, but... Mm. I could put it down here. I kind of want to switch them, though, because I feel like I have too much of this color over here. Almost done. Okay, I could do another pumpkin, maybe a pumpkin up here. I'll do the this peachy one. I cut the white off a little bit. Hopefully that is a Disney day. <laughs> and then I left space, so if I did have a Disney day this day, I could just, you know, um, put a box there. No biggie. I'm going to fix this because I, I really don't want to cut it, but I'm going to have to cut it. Maybe if I put it, no, it needs to be straight. Okay, let me just adjust it because it was a little crooked. Okay, I think that's better. And then let me cut this off. easier to do it this way okay that works it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be so that's good okay how adorable so I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna add in just some extra bits of washi that I have um just some I think striped ones would be cool or should I do this spider web one I haven't used this one Let's see how this looks. This might be a little bit too much. If it is, then I'll I'll just go in with stripes because stripes are easy. I mean, I kind of like it though. I could do both actually. Why not? I'll put some spider webs in here. Make it a little bit more spooky. More spooky, cute stuff. Oops. I should have done washi first, but. I got too excited using all these stickers. They're super cute. Okay. Oh no. You know what? I, I can't find the end to this washi. I like ripped it and then it just went downhill from there. All right, so I think I'm just going to use this one. Okay, we're just gonna go with this one. Actually, I don't wanna waste this because I don't have very much of it left. 
So I'm just gonna put it down like so. Actually, I think this one is better. It's a little cleaner, which I like. Yeah. It's not too busy. So I'm just gonna go top and bottom. Kinda just helps to, you know, frame the page a little bit and make it a little, feels more complete with washi, in my opinion. Especially when you do top and bottom, I always feel like the top looks a little empty, so it helps to give it a little pattern on the top, which is nice. Okay, I think this is a better option. And then maybe I'll do, let's see, I have, I kind of want to do another washi. I have this bow one, this black bow one. I don't know if this one might be a little too much though. It's always tricky because I don't want to, no, I think this is too much. I don't want to like cover up the dates. Usually, not all the dates. Like some of them I don't mind covering up because I'll see this one here, it's like 9, 10. But I want to cover up the whole thing with washi because then it just, yeah. Like this one I know I covered up, but I have 20, 21, 22. I don't know. I don't know how, what I'm trying to say, but yeah. Maybe I'll do like little pieces of this one. Kind of just cut up here and there above like little areas just for some more pattern on the page. Do a little bit there. We'll do a little bit. I normally don't just like randomly put washi down, but I think that kind of works. Because <laughs> sometimes you just need a little washi here and there. Just to fill in some spots. Some pretty cute pattern. Okay, then I'm gonna do one more. I actually really like that. So let's do a little piece here. Adds a little bit more interest. Might have to start doing this a little bit more. And like a little goes a long way, but I think that's too little. <laughs> okay, let me do it a little bit bigger so I can make it a little bit more. Okay. All right, cute, I love it. So that is gonna be my spread for my monthly. Again, I use the new LTL Print House stickers, the Halloween stickers, use most of them actually. They're super adorable. So if you would like to get these, make sure to check them out. Again, it'll be linked down in my description with the Etsy shop. Hold on, I'm gonna just put a little bit more here so I realize I had more stars um but yeah that is gonna be it for this video thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch i hope you all enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more make sure to hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one